Hello, I'm Linda Cash. I am playing Deborah Jones, and we are live on the set of Sloppy Jones. You know, she's a bit of a gal of mystery. Um, I think that she has some ulterior motives, but um, she's a manipulator. And I think she knows how to get her way. Um, she's a fairly high status character. She's um, very lusty and has a very lusty relationship with, uh, with Frank until something dreadful happens to him. And then she gets to take over. Ooh. And I think she's capable. Although it would appear that I um, have a softer side and that I am nothing like Deb, I have a Deb side. I can be a bit of an alpha. I don't know if you know that, but I don't know if that comes through in the cloud, um, but I do. So that's the thing I tap into. I'm excited that I don't know all the answers about what's happening, and as the series progresses, I'm going to learn more, and I think that's a really smart way to um, cast and to progress. When I did Fargo, I was told that Ewan McGregor had no idea from episode to episode what was happening. And they did that on purpose so that he couldn't play the future. And I always thought that was really weird as an actor, but actually it's really good when you don't 100% know what the next storyline is. I think it's good. So what's your personal theory as to who killed Frank? I suspect everyone, including myself. Do you think you did it? I can't say, because I really can't say. <laughs> Amazing. And um, are you a horror or a comedy fan at all? Horror? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I am a, uh, no, no, I am not a horror fan. Um, I uh, don't like it, it scares me. What I do like is the combination of comedy with horror, but I, I get scared super easily and I spend much of the time in the theater um, with my eyes closed and, mm. and plugging my ears because I don't like the sound and, and the soundtrack of horror movies is almost as scary as the movie itself. I can't take it. Mm. It's sensitive. And why did you decide to take on the project? She had cleavage. That was exciting. And she had a lot of lipstick. I like, you know, at this point in my career, it's really fun to play someone in control, someone who um, plays her um, sexuality, someone who's bossy, someone who's alpha, and someone who can wear these. <laughs> I hope she doesn't die, and if she dies, I hope there's tons of flashbacks. <laughs>